has been a lot going on with Twitter in recent months, so we're gonna cover some of the top updates you need to know about as a small business owner in this video. Starting with longer tweets. Twitter has always been known for its short tweets. It used to be 140 characters, then it was 280. Now it looks like tweets could potentially be up to 4,000 characters. This is a mock-up of what the longer format would look like. So longer tweets will likely appear in stream at the regular tweet length with a show more button after it reaches 280 characters. When you tap show more, then users can see the full tweet displayed. So this update would allow tweets to share longer thoughts, but is this something that Twitter users really want? And how will this affect your marketing? One article said Twitter could similarly update the notification on the show more prompt to be something like read remaining 3000 characters as the indicator instead, which could save users from tapping and unspooling a massive article within a tweet that they don't want to. That could, however, reduce the amount of engagement with longer tweets, but then again, not indicating the full length could in effect have the same impact as users might get sick of expanding out massive tweets and just tapping the prompt either way. It's also not clear that this is something that users want on Twitter, given its historic focus on short form messaging, and it'll be interesting to see how it's received if and when it does eventually get rolled out. I can say both as a marketer and just as a personal social media user that anytime an update is made where you have to make more clicks than you originally did, it's an annoying update for the user. While sharing a longer message may help consumers get more invested in your brand, that's only going to happen if they actually read the tweet and don't avoid every show more prompt that they see on Twitter. If Twitter does fully roll this out, my advice would be to test and see which tweet links perform the best for you in terms of engagement and clicks. The next update Twitter plans to roll out includes new rules banning links to other social platforms. If you link out to other social media platforms in your tweet, your account may be suspended based on new Twitter rules. Twitter said we recognize that many of our users are active on other social media platforms. However, we will no longer allow free promotion of certain social media platforms on Twitter. Specifically, we will remove accounts created solely for the purpose of promoting other social platforms and content that contains links or usernames for the following platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Mastodon, Truth Social, Tribal, Noster, and Post. So as a small business owner, it sounds like you'll need to avoid cross-promoting in your bio and future tweets, including the use of third-party social media link aggregators like Linktree. But there is a slight loophole. When you share a link to something using the Twitter button from the share options available, that is allowed. Twitter said we recognize that certain social media platforms provide alternative experiences to Twitter and allow users to post content to Twitter from these platforms. In general, any type of cross posting to our platform is not in violation of this policy, even from the prohibited sites listed above. So in theory, you could still cross promote your latest Facebook reel on Twitter, just so long as it's done via the Twitter sharing option and not via a direct link to Facebook. Well, what about all the other social media outlets you ask? Apparently they're fine to link to in any aspect. Twitter said posting links or usernames to social media platforms not listed above are also not in violation of this policy. So links to YouTube, Pinterest, Reddit, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and interestingly TikTok are all fine. Between this update and allowing for longer tweets and videos on Twitter, it's apparent that Elon Musk wants to keep viewers from clicking across to another app to consume content and to provide more monetization opportunities for creators. Now, really quick, before we get into my last two updates, I have to mention that if you'd rather have professionals handle your social media marketing for you from top to bottom, we do that for small businesses every single day. So I'll put our contact link below in case you're interested in learning more about that. All right, update number three is the new qualification process for community notes. Twitter has added a new way to improve the accuracy and value of its community notes via a new qualifier that will require community notes contributors to unlock the ability to write notes by first rating other notes submitted in the app. Twitter said to keep the quality of community notes high, contributors earn and can lose the ability to write notes. Everyone who joins community notes can rate notes. They can unlock the ability to write notes by helping to identify a helpful and unhelpful notes. If notes they write are found helpful, they'll continue to have greater 
greater impact. If notes they write are consistently found not helpful, their ability to write notes will be temporarily locked and they'll have to earn it back. So essentially, the system is being built to ensure that community notes participants are not outliers and that their ratings are viewed as actually helpful by the broader Twitter community. Now, I could go into a lot more detail about Twitter community notes, so comment yes community notes if that's something that you'd like to see in a separate video. Otherwise, my last update today is the rollout of longer video uploads to Blue subscribers. If you don't know what Twitter Blue is, it's an $8 subscription package that Twitter relaunched a few weeks back after addressing the flaws in its initial introduction. The main appeal to Twitter Blue is that paying subscribers get a blue check mark by their name so they can appear as important, accurate, or popular as legacy check mark holders in the app. However, there are other perks too. One article said with Blue, users are now able to upload videos up to 60 minutes long in 1080p. This is part of Elon Musk's broader push to get more video content posted to Twitter itself, as opposed to users being linked off to another platform to watch long form clips. So again, we're seeing Twitter's push to keep users on its platform. Musk's longer term view is that Twitter will be able to offer a better revenue share for video creators than other video apps. And if Twitter can incorporate monetization, a along with a display of tweeted comments in the same presentation screen as video content, that could be another pathway to generating more engagement and usage. Monetization, of course, is a key lure for creators as we've seen with TikTok. If there's any opportunity to make money and build their audience, then creators will indeed look to share their content in other apps direct as opposed to linking back to their main channel someplace else. But more video means more storage, which will add to Twitter's infrastructure costs. And with this in mind, Twitter will likely find it tough to best YouTube current revenue share and generation capacity. Also, it remains to be seen whether users actually want to view long-form content in the app, like we talked about. Twitter's main value proposition is short, sharp interactions and a fast-moving feed, and while Twitter has tried long-form audio, blog-style notes, and other forms of more in-depth engagement, there's seemingly little to suggest that any of these have resonated with the platform's user base thus far. That doesn't mean Musk and Co. can't change that perception, but there will be a challenge in shifting the mindset of what people come to Twitter for, and that can make it even more difficult for Twitter to incorporate long form video in any meaningful way. So basically, Twitter will have to first overcome what people know it for, a place to share short messages where blue check marks are earned, not paid for. And then if people accept the new Twitter, then there are new monetization opportunities to be had for small businesses and creators alike, which, some high profile creators don't seem to be entirely uninterested in. So it'll be interesting to see how the general public reacts to and engages with longer form content on Twitter because that will ultimately be the deciding factor in whether a lot of these updates hold up or not. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you want more update videos like these, and I will see you guys in the next episode.